welcome back now in this video we will start working right on this on press event and we will create a method and call upon right in here in this on press event as i told you before right in the previous video for this material button easy apply now we will work on that on press event so let's go and start working on that we will go above the widget build there we go with the widget and build right in here we will create a method and we're gonna name this as a apply for job call the brushes drag this down now right in here we will say final and we're gonna create the URI and we will name this as a parameters short name for the parameters okay and now we're gonna equal that to URI we're gonna assign that right in this parameter okay that we are about to create right in here so in here parenthesis and right at end in here semicolon tag this down it's gonna take some properties and basically the working of URI it will create a new URI object by parsing a URI string so it will be basically a purse URI such as a URL so let's start working on that right in here the first property that will tag is gonna be scheme there we go and right in here string we will say mail to now in here comma and it's gonna take the path now so in here the path is gonna be the email company okay so we will send it right to the email company so in here that's why right in the path we provide the email company okay now in here we will create the query it's gonna tag that right in here so in here string and we're gonna set it like the format is gonna be subject equal to applying for with the dollar sign now we're gonna say job title what is gonna be a job title so in here we will say job title and we will say body we're gonna equal that to hello comma and we're gonna say text please attach resume cv file write it and comma so there's gonna be the format for the query as you guys can see right in here okay write it like that now we are done with the URI as I told you before about the working of a URI now right in here we will say final and gonna create the URL in which we will assign now the parameters I mean this parameters okay in which we just assign that all of it okay right in this parameters so in here we will say parameter and we're gonna convert it go to string and we just assign that okay in which we just assign that URI and all of their working right inside this parameters so in here we write there is parameters parameter and we just convert it to string and we just assign that right in this URL because we're gonna use that and uh, we're gonna launch a URL so let's go and work on that so in here we will say launch there we go with the suggestion launch URL string and it's gonna take that URL okay maybe we just query it and assign that right in this URL so in here we will say URL and write it and semicolon so it's gonna launch for us the URL thing okay so in here we just add that you will get the idea whenever we will test the app and you guys will notice the output so don't worry for that first let me complete that so we are done with the method apply for job and the next thing that we will do simply is gonna be whenever the user will apply for this specific kind of job okay then we want that applicants 
to be increment by one as you guys can see right in here the applicants for now is zero so whenever the other user will apply for this job I want that that the applicants gonna be increment by one so in here there's gonna be one done if the user apply for this job and right in the future there's gonna be a multiple user and gonna apply for this job and we will simply just create another method in which we will increment that applicants and gonna show the digit right in here so let's go and also work on that so we will create another method as I tell you above this widget build and it's gonna be simply for the adding new applicants okay so in here we will say white and gonna name this as add new applicants it's fine now this is gonna be asynchronous so in here async and curly braces take this down now in here we're gonna create a variable by the name document reference okay short name for document reference now in this doc graph we will assign we will say firebase firestore we're gonna create an instance okay as you guys can see right in here firebase firestore dot instance right to the collection of jobs okay and we're gonna take this down from here so that you guys can see it easily now down in here we will say dot document doc and right in there we will say widget dot with a specific job ID okay we're gonna see that so as you guys can see right in here we are creating that instance firebase firestore right to the collection of jobs okay and right inside that job we're gonna check that document with their specific job ID okay so right after that whenever we will be done with that then we will simply write in here say doc graph that we just created we're gonna update in here call the basis okay in here semicolon and tag this down from here and here string and the name it's right inside the firebase fire store it's applicant so the name must be similar guys okay or otherwise it will not update the applicants right in the firebase okay so make sure to make it in a proper manner so right in here applicants okay colon and then we will say applicants and we're gonna increment it by one as I told you before okay right after there is gonna be the dialog box and we will remove that so for that we will say navigator dot pop contacts is gonna remove that for us so in here just call upon that so we are done with this method add new applicant okay so what we will do we will call upon that method right in this method apply for job so whenever the user will apply for the job then we will increase the applicants by one it is gonna increment that whenever the user will apply for a job right in here okay and click on this material button so now you can simply copy that or you can manually write in here just call upon that right in here it will add new applicant whenever the user will apply for a job now just copy that method name from here and go towards the on press event that we left empty before and it was down in here there we go okay the on press event easy apply now for that button in here call upon it or you can manually write it so we are done with that.